Hello everyone and welcome to Retro Brick Reviews, where today we'll be taking a look at the recently revealed Lego Ariel and Ursula Brickheads from The Little Mermaid. This is set number 41623 with 361 pieces and upon release will retail for around $20. That's a pretty good price to part ratio. Like I feel as though this has this set might have the best price to part ratio of any brickhead set Lego has released. But I mean value for price to part isn't anything. I mean any taking a cursory look at the lightning jet from the Lego Ninjago movie would tell you that much. So how good actually are the brickheads included? We'll start with Ariel, who immediately looks very, very strange. Um, I think the biggest problem just in concept with this figure is that it looks really weird to have a brick head that's showing a lot of skin. I mean, it just doesn't really work with the style they're going for here. I mean, especially with someone as thin as Ariel, it, it just looks very strange. And I'm not a huge fan of how it turned out. Um, Now, a lot of the detail, like the most of the hair as well as the tail, is actually on the other side of the figure. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. But just starting from this side, I think the front and this side of the hair do look pretty pretty nice. I mean, they they don't look... I, I feel as though maybe they could look a bit better, but I mean, overall, they look un flowy enough. Um, I feel as though the, um, the amount of forehead shown is just about right, and I mean, I guess that really the arms and just in general how much skin is shown, you really can't change that up for just this iconic design on a design of Ariel, but I mean, I just don't think it looks that great. Um, I think a big problem is the sh seashells on the front. That just looks really strange there. Like, I'm not sure what Lego could have done. Like, I really don't think that they should have just, like, taken the actual, actual s seashell piece and just attached it on the front. That definitely wasn't the answer, but I mean... I don't know, just having it be fully 2D, just, it really doesn't work for me. I mean, may maybe if it was, like, printed a bit wider, like it covered, like it went to the edges of the brick. I don't know. It, it just, it, it doesn't look right, the, the shells. Um, but yeah, turning over to the other side of the figure, I feel as though the hair over here actually doesn't look as good because, I don't know, like, the hair coming down the back, it, it just looks, it looks too flat, I think. But, I mean, the tail is fine with how it, like, you have the sort of, per, I don't know what you call that, like, the barbed? N not barbed, but, you know, the, the two sections of the tail at the end. That looks good. I, it looks like it'll use spring green, which is nice, and it looks as though, like, the darker part of the tail will actually be teal, which is nice. So, overall... There are some nice designs on this aerial, such as most of the hair and the tail, but I mean, in general, again, I just think it's sort of a flawed idea, because all of the skin that's showing, it just doesn't translate well into a brickhead, and she looks super weird. But yeah, anyway, that is Ariel, so now let's move on to Ursula, who... I'd say is definitely the better of the two. I actually do kind of... I think Ursula does look pretty good. Um, Starting with the hair, I'm... I th I'm... It's interesting, I'll put it to that. It doesn't really look like hair, but I do like how they were able to get the very consistent curves and slopes in it. It doesn't look exactly like hair, but it just... It looks rather... It works, it's consistent, is pretty much the right word to use here. It looks good, Al. That's, yeah. Um, I'm, if I had one complaint, it would be the Nexonite's shield coming down over the forehead. That's just a bit too pointed. Like, it's a bit too obvious that that piece isn't, 
it, it's too obvious that it's just a shield piece. It, it sort of breaks up the design of the hair, but it looks pretty good. It looks like there will be teal plates behind Ursula's eyes to sort of get her makeup, which is nice. I mean, you even have her earrings on the sides of her head. This is a really well-done brick head. Um, the body is also pretty well done. Um, you have the sort of the eight little, um, I don't know what you call them, like octopus legs? I don't know, but, um, obviously she has the purple arms. And, um, on the front, you have that one by four printed brick that just shows the top of her outfit as well as a golden seashell necklace, which I think looks good. I kind of feel so maybe that should have been printed onto a lavender brick, though, because it looks kind of strange around the side to, you know, just have of all that black there. It, it looks a bit off, but I can live with it. But overall, I'm not entirely sure how to feel about these two figures. Um, I feel so Ursula is pretty well done, just not a big fan of the Nexo shield, but really, if you could find out a bit of a better way to do that, then I think Ursula's actually pretty good. Ariel, on the other hand, I mean, like, I think Ariel's really the problem here, because you can't have anything for the Little Mermaid without including, well, the Little Mermaid, but I don't know, I just don't feel as though Ariel really translates well into a brickhead. Like, I admire what they did here, and I think, for all intents and purposes, it's a good translation, it's just that the character is the problem here, not the design, but the character herself just doesn't translate well into this style. But yeah, I mean, if you like these Brickheads, then I would definitely recommend them. I mean, for $20, you get a lot of great pieces and some great colors. I mean, heck, I might get this just for the parts pack. But anyway, but yeah, you get a lot of great parts. You get two iconic characters in this Brickhead style. It's a pretty good set. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say.